Model pose. Oh, model hair flip. Okay, so now that I have finally decided to put on some clothes and be decent for you, um, I'm going to get to this hair routine that's super, super simple. So usually I would get ready with, you know, my makeup and such and let my hair dry in my towel. And then by the time I'm done with my makeup and doing a bunch of other stuff, my hair would be pretty much dry or damp if I have it in the towel still. In this case, it is pretty much dry. So as you can see here, my hair dries straight on the most part. Um, if it's damp and I still keep it in the towel and I, then I take it out and let it air dry, it'll be somewhat wavy. I still shower every single day, but I wash my hair every other day now. And my go-to shampoo is the, it's a 10 with keratin. And this is just to avoid damage and also a quicker washout of my dye. And as for conditioner, I am still using the Redken Extreme Conditioner, but I love conditioning it in order to detangle my hair and it'll just dry straight and there won't be any knots. But as for my treatment, hair treatments, I actually only use the 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner. I have included this in my monthly favorites a long time ago and I still use it because it smells like freaking butterflies and amazing stuff. So but this is my go-to what am I going to say? I'm brain fart. And if your head ever starts to smell a little funky funky, it's probably due to all the like the product buildup, like hairspray, shampoo, um, anything that you put on your head, it'll leave traces of it and it'll start to kind of um, build up and cause this little funky smell. So at least like once a week, I always use an anti-residue shampoo and this is my go-to shampoo as you can see here we are in a very committed relationship so if I'm ever in a hurry I would just blow dry my hair but I never ever use the hot setting and while my hair is still damp I like to blow dry it upside down this will just give me that a little bit of extra lift um, I don't like teasing my hair just because I'm lazy and I don't know, I don't like the nest to show and all that jazz, but I would blow dry it upside down, um, really just focusing on the roots there. So if I do decide to curl my hair or use heat in any type of way, I would always protect my hair with a heat protectant spray and I have been using this for about, I don't even know, like back in 2010 or whatever. It's like a really, really long time ago and I have a terrible memory, but I would spray this all over my hair, especially just focusing on the tips of my hair, but I would just spray it from here down and then I would just comb through with my fingers. And it smells amazing. Might be a little bit of an overkill, but I also use the Chi Silk Infusion. It's great for protecting your hair from heat, and it's also a great leave in that'll leave your hair like super silky. Pour just a little dime sized portion onto my hands that is not dime sized, and then I would just spread it in my palms, and then I would just focus all this down here. So get the tips of my hair. I don't ever put this stuff up here as it's just gonna make my hair an oily mess and you could probably make some french fries with it so let's just avoid that. A lot of you guys always ask me how often I trim or cut my hair but I just trim when it's necessary and a lot of people like your hairdresser might say you should trim your hair so and so amount of times but it just really depends. So that is it for my hair care routine. Now I'm gonna go and give myself some bangs. So if you guys are interested in seeing me with some side swept bangs again, go watch 